Let's go down to Mark Buckrod. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for being here this evening. It's certainly a momentous night. This is our signature race coming up later, the Bud Light Progress Pace Final, which will be the richest race in the history of Delaware harness racing. And of course, we have the Matron Final to follow that as well. And today has been designated as Hervé Fillion Day. This commemorates Hervé's victory last Saturday as he chauffeured for the 15,000th time a horse into the winner's circle. Quite an accomplishment that has never been done before in North America. And of course, uh, Hervé did it right here at Dover Downs. And Hervé, right here, as you can see, uh, your fellow horsemen and uh, many of your friends and uh, some of your owners are here. This has got to be a big moment for you. Well, of course, you know, that was quite a thrill I did what happened here last Saturday. But tonight, to see all those people here and all that, I, I feel it's a bigger thrill. I want to thank the fan, the management, of course, and uh, especially the industry of artist racing. Some people call it a sport, but me, I always felt it was a big industry. So I just want to thank everybody. Thank you very much. And thank you guys for being here. One thing for certain, Hervé, just uh, looking at your record, 15 times the leading driver in North America, 10 times the Harness Tracks of America Driver of the Year. Uh, you've uh, been the leading driver at so many racetracks right here in Delaware at Brandywine, at uh, Liberty Bell Park, at Freehold Raceway, at Yonkers, and of course at the, the old uh, Roosevelt Raceway. You've had many thrills, but Hitting 15,000 was uh, your latest goal, was it not? It was, and you know, and I, that's why I always thank the people of Delaware, you know, the horsemen, the owners, to give me the mount to be able to reach the goal I wanted to. Now, for the next couple of years, I want to help my son. They're very interested in the industry of artist racing, so uh, I appreciate it very much. A bigger trail, a bigger trail, I don't think, you know. In life, you get all kinds of trail, but that 15,000 was a big trail. Well, that uh, young man standing alongside is Hervé Fillion, Jr., and he's carrying, I, it must be about a 35-pound uh, decanter of, of wine. And uh, this is from your friend from the uh, Pocono Downs area, Anthony uh, Chiarino, and uh, this is his present to you as uh, commemorating your 15,000th win. Thank you very much. Really. I, I hope you don't uh, hit it against the wall here. We probably have to float away. Yeah. Thank you very much. Really a thrill. Thank you. How about one last question, Hervé? You've done it and uh, done so many things in this business, and your uh, sons and, and your uh, daughters are here in the winner's circle. Uh, are there any more goals left? Well, I like to see my son, Brandon. You know, he's trying to get going in the industry and Andrew and uh, my number one our son here is going to be the manager so uh, we're going to feel uh, I hope to have keep my feet in the industry and around the horses all my life. Oh I'm sure it's pretty hard to win away. I feel I'm too old right now to quit. Well, <laughs> well being 63 years young you, you seem to be doing all right. Well I need a young fast horse that's all I need. <laughs> That's for sure. Well, Hervé, from we here at Dover Downs, we'd like to present you with a um, weekend in a suite at the nearby Dover Downs Hotel at the weekend of your choice and dinner in that uh, sensational uh, restaurant, Michelle's, and I'm sure that uh, you'll put that to good use. Oh, yeah. If I don't, my family will. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is supposed to be for you. Yeah, well... I have to include the family, too. <laughs> right now, I'd like to call out the other two Hall of Famers that are here with us, that being Mike Lachance, a longtime friend, and John Campbell, and Hervé, of course, along with John Campbell, are the youngest ever to reach the Hall of Fame status in the sport. And Mike, you've known Hervé, I guess, since you were a youngster. Oh, definitely, since I'm 12 years old. And... Uh, when uh, younger, when I was younger in Canada, uh, growing up there, I was we were looking up to Hervé like a, 
it was like a, the, 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 the pride and joy of Canada. And uh, then I, when I got a little older and I started to, to drive against them there, uh, I was, was always a, like a great driver and somebody that you can look up to him. That's for sure. Winning 15,000 is quite an accomplishment. You're right at the 10,000 figure and uh, you're going strong. Yes, but uh, whatever you've done, uh, you have to do it there. It's, it's, uh, it's a lot of work and uh, you have to spend a lot of years uh, doing it and you have to stay healthy and uh, uh, no accident and things like that. It's a lot of things involved. Thank you very much, Mike Lachance, and Hall of Famer John Campbell is another uh, man in the business who's uh, worked his way up to the Hall of Fame status, and I guess uh, with Mike and with Hervé and people that are racing today, uh, that's got to be a great feather in your cap. Well, for sure. Um, as Mike said, uh, growing up, all we ever heard and read about was Hervé and uh, getting getting to meet him and race against him. And as soon as you started racing against him, you knew it was no accident why he was winning all those races. Uh, what uh, is the thing that impresses you the most about Hervé? Is it that he's still going strong at this age? Well, that, that, that really doesn't surprise you because he has amazing constitution to, to do what he's done for all these years, race double headers, and uh, just never seems to get tired. But uh, his ability to strategize a race, and if you had the horse that was the one to beat, he had an uncanny knack for getting you in a spot you didn't want to be. I think his, his uh, ability to handicap races was his strongest, uh, strongest factor in his success. Thank you very much, John Campbell. We have a couple of other people here who may have something to say. Uh, Beth Steele, who is the chairperson for the Delaware Harness Racing Commission, and it's good seeing you. Nice to see you. We just wanted to thank you, uh, Hervé, for you spending so much of your time racing in Delaware. We want to congratulate you for your 15,000 wins and hope there'll be many more. Thank you. Thank you, Beth Steele. And uh, Jim Bays, general manager at Harrington Raceway, you were one race away from having a ceremony like this in the Harrington Winter Circle. Exactly, and we'd like to echo uh, all the congratulations, Irve, and Harrington Raceway is very proud of the fact that th it was the first track that uh, Irve raced at after coming back from a long absence, and we just wish you the very best. Good luck. Thank you, Jim Bays, General Manager at Harrington Raceway. And now here's the pride and joy of Delaware, Eddie Davis, who has raced so much against Hervé when he was coming up in the business. Uh, Hervé was uh, just establishing himself in the Delaware Valley. And Eddie, back in 1981, you and Hervé deadlocked for the National Driver Championship. That must have been a real big deal for you as well. Yeah, we had a great time, really. Hervé would come here and race on a Sunday. I'd go to Freehold and race. I think we left here on uh, Sunday and went to Rockingham. Yeah, we got there back to the middle of the car. It was snowing and raining. He got one. I got one. We kept racing. I don't know, right down to the last minute. I told Hervé I only had a two in. And when it came to Dover, they put me on every race, I think. And I got ahead of him a little bit, and I wound up one ahead. Three years later, him and I tied up. <laughs> he, uh, he had a race under appeal, a big race at the Meadowlands, and he got it turned over, and he got to win. And it tied him and I up. And it uh, goes to show you that's a long story that we can go into at another time. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for being with us on this momentous occasion. We hope that those here at Dover Downs have gotten their uh, special souvenir program of Hervé's 15,000th win. He was in the winner's circle, I guess you call it, at the simulcast to do his autographs earlier, and he certainly enjoyed seeing everyone. Thank you, one and all. <laughs>